Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to another episode of Care to Watch and in line with our Christmas program of the festivities on this channel we're going to demonstrate how to make sausage rolls today. Um, it's a really simple recipe, it's very clean and it's very quick and actually there's a song that goes with it. Who'd have known it? And I just made it up today and it goes like this and if you want to sing along they'll be shown on the bottom of the screen. One, two, three. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. How much fun it is to make sausage rolls today. Yeah! And as I said earlier, where are you going to make the sausage rolls? And you see, I've purchased convenience products. You can buy these in any supermarket. We bought some ready to roll puff pastry. It's easier to buy than it is to make. And we've purchased some plain sausage meat today. So there's no further additives to this in terms of flavor but you can buy other varieties, Cumberland or Lincolnshire sausage meat, which you can add to this. So the idea is we're gonna to keep to our board and we're gonna to keep to the paper that was actually in the packaging of the pastry. So the first thing we'll do is grab our sausage meat, open the packet, squeeze out our sausage meat. It's, it's quite a little bit wet. And then we're just gonna divide this into two. So we have two halves. I'm going to replace this sausage meat back onto the plate. And then all I'm going to do is start rolling this sausage meat in my hand. And as you can see, it's a bit tacky, so it's a bit wet. So what I do need is a bit of flour. And as I said, I'm just going to work it over the pastry. Add some flour over the pastry. And as it gets longer, I'm just going to push it onto my pastry, a bit more flour. And then just roll the sausage meat into, um, guess what? A big sausage. Yes, we like a big sausage, don't we? So keep rolling it, even pressure. There's a bit of movement, just hold it down. And just keep rolling. There we go, and we're getting there. What we want to do is roll it to the outer edges of the pastry. There you go, so you see I've rolled out some nice even sausage and it's just to the outer edges of the pastry. Now I'm gonna grab my other half of sausage meat and I'm gonna do exactly the same. So a bit of flour as it gets a bit tacky over the pastry. A bit more flour and then just roll it out a bit more, push that to the side and just keep rolling this out. And you'll notice that I'm just working on the pastry, so I'm not making any mess anywhere else. The, the flour is being picked up by the sausage meat, so it's making it easier to roll. And I'm just at even pressure. Cross the pastry and just make it longer as I go. And if you want to burst into song and you feel like you want to uh, sing that, um, jingle bells again, more than happy to do so. Can we remember how it goes? It's going to be on the screen. We could do this and can roll the sausage at the same time. After three. One, two, three. A jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. How much fun it is to make sausage rolls today. Boom! Yeah. So just keep rolling it, rolling it. And you'll see with a bit of even pressure, I've got a bit of movement on my board, but I can still cope with this. And we get our sausage meat over the edges of the pastry. So there you go, I have two sausages, and what we want to do is just bring them back so they're almost a, th a third up into the pastry. Okay, I'm gonna take a knife, and then I'm just gonna cut a knife halfway down the pastry here. Let's make sure that's done. Okay, we have an egg, we have a bowl. Crack the egg, 
it is a bowl. We have a fork and we just mash up the egg to make some egg wash. What I want to do is bind the egg yolk and the egg white together so it's all nice and yellow with no white, white bits in there. Now I did speak to a couple of owls earlier and asked them for a paintbrush. But unfortunately, all the paintbrushes have been sold out because of a high demand. So they made me a special paintbrush. And I'm going to use this paintbrush with my egg wash. And I'm just going to go to the outer edges of each of these lines of puff pastry. So I'm just going to paint some egg wash on here, like so. Nice and light. And again, on this side, nice and light. And I notice we're still working on our piece of paper, or greaseproof paper that came with a pastry product. Okay. All I'm going to do now is Peel off the pastry from the paper very carefully over the sausage meat. Like so. So it's just over. And then we're just going to peel it away a bit further and then we're just going to roll the pastry around the sausage meat to make our first big sausage roll. And then we can just lift that just to make sure it's rolled. Okay, and we have our first nice sausage roll ready to cut. And we do exactly the same on the next piece of sausage meat. We'll peel the pastry off the paper, over the sausage meat, give it a turn. to make our sausage roll. Nice and tight. And then just lift that off. By lifting that off, what we want to do is making sure this seam that we've created is actually laid flat because that's how the pastry rises. We don't want that seam to open up. All we do now is we go back to a little paintbrush and the egg we had earlier and we just paint the whole big sausage roll with the egg wash that we made earlier. Now you can, if you wish, before you uh, start rolling the pastry, you can add some cranberry jaw, uh, sauce on the pastry just to give it that festive flavor. Okay, and what I normally do is just to give it a little bit more color after I've egg washed, is I get some paprika. So you have some paprika here and I just give it a light sprinkle of paprika over the pastry. And it gives it a nice color as it bakes through the oven. And you'll notice I'm still on my paper, I've not moved off my paper. Nice flick, so there we go. So you have one big sausage roll, or you have two, and now you want to be able to divide it up. Now, I've got some blue cloth here because as we cut through this, the knife may stick to the sausage roll itself. So what we're firstly gonna do is we're gonna cut the sausage roll in half here. So cut it in half, give the blade a bit of a wipe, this way, sorry, it's not on the, on the blade, and then cut it in half again. and then cut it in half again. And we keep cutting each piece in half till we got the sausage roll size that we like. So I'm gonna make a number of sizes here so you can see the difference you can have. And what we'll do, we'll just cut a couple of these into smaller ones so we can make some little cocktail sausage rolls. Okay, so we have different sizes. And with this one, I'm just gonna make some really big ones here. So we've cut this one in half, 
because you might have mummies and daddies or other people at home who like big sausage rolls. We'll just cut this into four. Okay, now we're nearly ready for our oven and all we simply do is just pick up the grease proof pastry, put it onto your baking tray like this and then just pick up your sausage rolls and spread them evenly on the paper across the baking tray. We've got to make it so they're not touching each other so when the pastry does rise it gives them plenty of room to rise. So there we go we could tuck this little piece of paper over here and tuck this little piece under here and then now we're ready to put these into the oven 150 degrees C for about 30 to 35 minutes nice and golden brown and then we have our sausage rolls. 10-15 minute recipe all done ready for Christmas. Thank you very much see you in a minute. Okay, so 35 minutes later, here we have sausage rolls straight out of the oven. They're still a bit warm, but you can see we've got different sizes for different appetites. So we've got a nice small size for a little appetite, a medium size. And for those with a really big appetite, we've got these larger ones here. So the benefit for everybody within the home or within your family. We've got a nice glaze going on. You can see the paprika, it won't overwhelm the taste of the sausage meat. And what I do, I make my own cranberry sauce. I made this last year. And what I do, a little bit onto the plate, adds a bit of a festive taste onto it, onto the sausage roll. Take a lovely bite. Mmm, et voilà, perfecto. Have a great Christmas.